Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the glowing material. Uh, basically, with the new Resurgence Mega Capsules, we got a whole bunch of materials based on the on each powers in this universe online. So here we can see the material that is based on the Green Lantern power. I'm using the Alan Scott uh, Green Lantern armor to show it off, but also I want to show the difference between the glowing material and the enhanced version of the Green Lantern armor, which you can see right behind it. Like here, you can see right next to the enhanced version. We can see it's it looks a bit similar, but uh, there's quite a few differences. The the enhanced version can be much uh, much more shinier. And also the enhanced version, obviously you can put it any colors you want, as opposed to the glowing material, uh, you have no choice, it's going to be a, a, green, a green material. Like you can see here, obviously with the, uh, the enhanced version of the Green Lantern suit, you can actually have any color you want on the suit, uh, assuming you use like the three colors on each pieces of gear. And of course, you're going to get a few extra details, like uh, the the sword motif on the on the back piece, which you kind of lose with the material. Seeing how the material covers everything, although there is a bit of uh, this one seems to be a tiny bit translucent or shows a bit more detail because you can see the eyes uh, quite a bit. Uh, very often with those materials, uh, the eyes are t completely covered, so that's a that that's a nice thing. And as I mentioned, you can have the material on any pieces of gear that you want. But like any material, it covers the entire piece of gear. You cannot just select part of the, the piece of the gear that you want to have with the material. As you can see, it covers the eyes of the mask, but not quite as much as some of the other materials. So you can still kind of sort of, of uh, can see the eyes, but not, not really. So ideally, you're going to want to use those materials on a piece of on a on a headpiece that the, that either doesn't have, have eyes at all or that has big eye holes so that you can see the the eyes of the character. And obviously, if you want to, you can use multiple materials on the same character. So here you can see I'm using uh, the enigmatic material, the temporal material, and the glowing material all together on the same character. But each pieces of gear can only support one material. So basically, the material covers the entire piece of gear. So you can mix and match materials uh, as you want, but it's only one material per piece of gear. So one material for the shoulders, one material for the gloves, one material for the chest piece, and so on. Maybe someday, many years from now, we're going to be able to put more than one material on a piece of gear. Like maybe someday the shoulders will be uh, able to support two, three materials. But until then, uh, sadly, it's only one material per piece of gear. Someone asked for a specific Green Lantern look, so let's take a look. Someone asked if I could make a Green Lantern look using uh, the glowing material, the the stealth material and the enhanced version of the Green Lantern emblem and uh, sadly this is about as close as I was able to get. Also some people have asked if I could make videos about the first material. Uh, right now I only have the glowing material, the enigmatic material and the, the temporal material so I'm gonna have to wait before I can use uh, any more materials. I did not use any material for the mask. I'm going to show you why. So as you can see, we kind of lose the eyes if we uh, if we put a material on it. We can still kind of sort of see them, but then uh, not really. And also, just for fun, I, I also added uh, the stealth material to the hands. Obviously, it would look a, a thousand more awesome if it was my actual Green Lantern character with his uh, Green Lantern power ring. But oh well, we do what we can with what we have. So I will try to make uh, one video for each material so that you guys can uh, can have a clear idea of what the material actually looks like. Because I understand that when you look on the broker, you cannot uh, preview the materials. So if you want to purchase a material on a broker, and some of those materials are pretty expensive, like uh, 20 something million, if not more, uh, it's kind of heartbreaking to spend uh, 20 millions on a material, only to find out that it doesn't look like exactly like you you wanted. So I'll try to make uh, a video about. Uh, I'll start by the with the the three materials that I have, and then I'll try to make videos about uh, 
more materials uh, as I get them. And one last look, maybe, here's the energy armor. Although I don't have the, uh, the shoulders just yet, so I had to cheat a bit. Uh, so I'm using the spin drift uh, shoulders. So you can see, we still see very clearly all, all the details of the armor. And let's try a version with the stealth material also. It doesn't give uh, quite a look I hoped for. So you can see the difference in textures between uh, the stealth material and the uh, the glowing armor. In contrast, here's what the energy armor looks like without the materials. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So that's it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.